Please don't skip the advertisement for me. Your full commotion watchings motivates me to continue this series. Thank you. Hello, it's me, Dexter. Unit 5, we are going to dealing with Jugo. Anyway, what is Jugo means? The sign of letter means living and living. And Korean definition is staying and living in a certain area, place, or house. I don't know why this textbook used this metaphysical word Jugo, but this unit just dealing with house maybe you guys are level five so this textbook maker want to bombastic showing off one's intellectual language house and dwelling is not exactly the same but has a common common features usually people are dwelling in the house so yeah in a certain situation so korean also use 주거 주거 but in this unit, just dealing with the house. So, if you are going to introduce your country's house, what or which aspect do you want to introduce to the immigrants? Well, it depends on person's opinion, but this textbook deals with first, house type classification. Second is changing trend in selecting house. The third, how to contract, like how to buy or how to rent a house. And the last one is Korean's common criteria in selecting one's house. So let's deal with the house. Are you ready? So before we start the unit five, let's quickly check with the key point of this unit, dwelling. So first blank, 한국인들이 살고 있는 주택은 크게 no, 아닌다. 나누다 is a share or separate. But in here, I want to say common types of houses, of course, in careers are divided by 단독주택 and 공동주택. So 단독 is a single. It means the single landowner, single owner. And 공동 is shared. It means more than one. So 공동주택 is multiple land load or multiple Owner. So generally, we can separate, classify, divide by two. First, 단독주택, second, 공동주택. And 단독주택, in the single land road, 단독주택 means just usual house to the Western persons, usual house or multiple family houses and so on. And 공동주택 means also multiple families, it means the multiple family houses and multi houses and apartments. So here, the representative of the type is 공동주택 is apartment and 단독주택 is multiple family houses. It is 다가구주택. And the third one, 공동주택에 살고 있는 가구수가 많아지면서 there is an increasing Floor noisy. It is 층간 소음. So 층 is floor. Like 1 층, 2 층, 3 층. 층, 층, 층. And 간 is between. So between floor, there is a noisy matter. So there is increasing floor noisy conflict between neighbors in 공동주택. Because many families are living in the one houses. So, yeah, 층간 소음 is also serious matter in now in Korean society. So, second key point is how and where you could get the house in Korea. Just going to real estate, 부동산. So, let's check it together. So, number one, house buy is sorted by 자가. 자가 means my own house. It means you buy it. You bought it totally. And second one is 전세. It is only special feature in Korea. So lease by deposit without monthly pay. That is just theoretically it is. And 월세 is monthly pay. So 전세 is a special feature in the Korea only. Right? And second one, 
when you want to buy or lease or a monthly pay the house, when you want to get a house, whether buy or land, you need to go to 부동산 중개업소. It is real estate and where you could contract to and get some information about the houses. And the third one, the important criteria which Koreans value the most when they selecting the house is convenient Gyotong. In here, in the previous lesson, Gyotong means transportation. But in here, yeah, also transportation, but also traffic. So Gyotong and educational environment and clean surrounding and convenient facility. So those things I translate. So in here, rather than translate literally, I translation freely. It means make a liberal translation to you guys to understand it. So yeah, some of you already know that my English translation is a slightly different from the what the literal translation. But in here, I want to check you guys understand your background knowledge. So based on this key point, let's deal with the unified together. Again, if you understand the concept or vocabulary in the key point, you'd better study on the key point section. But if you have any difficulty in understanding vocabulary or paragraph or sentences, you'd better study with me step by step.